All right, early in the morning, it's before six o'clock, and I have an opportunity to talk with Andre Esposito of the Utica Fire Academy. I can't believe I'm up this early, but there's a lot of other people up, and they're awake and ready to do something. Andre, hey, morning, it's a pleasure to see you and to be able to participate in this program. This is an incredible PT program you've got going here. Yes, it is. We uh, do a lot of work with the recruits every day. This is the time we're up every morning. We do PT Monday through Friday. Gee, now this isn't one of the recruits. This no. here is just is, is. Do you have a good name? We don't have a name for our prop. We haven't put a name on it. <laughs> oh, this is just, just one of our props. <laughs> this, is, this is part of their physical test that they have to do. How much does that weigh? 165 pounds. 165 pounds. Holy! Wait a minute. 165 pounds. 100. Oh, oh, he's not cooperating at all either. No, he's he dead weight. Up. He's dead weight. He's dead weight. Now, what's your uh, what's your uh, position in the fire department? I'm a deputy fire chief with the Utica Fire Department. Deputy fire chief, okay, excellent. And uh, how long have you been doing this program? The program has been, uh, I think, I believe it's in its sixth year. I've been doing it for over two now. We were here at 5.30 and you're setting up the stations and you're set to go and these guys are, and they're from all over the state. All over the state. Uh, this particular class has nine departments. This program draws from different departments throughout New York State. This class includes representatives from Amsterdam, Glens Falls, Gloversville, Niskayuna, North Greece, Rome, Saratoga Springs, Schenectady, Scotia, Troy, and Waterville. And they all go through this rigorous 14-day training. Where do we start? We're going to start at station number one. Today, station today's number. workout is stations. We have 13 stations set up, and they do two minutes on each station. And they go from station to station to station. It's a non-stop workout. All right. Okay. okay. So the first station is the hose pull. So you're down on one knee. You're grabbing the hose, and hand over hand. And what normally, this isn't weighted, but we've got a weight on the end of this prop. Yeah, there's a lot of weight on the end of this prop. <laughs> it's about uh, 50 pounds. We have a 25 pound weight in there, and the sled itself weighs about 25 pounds. So okay. Hand over hand. Okay, let me, let, me, let me try it there. This exercise simulates pulling the hose off the truck to the fire hydrant or from the truck to the base of the fire area and bringing in the slack so that it can be used in the building or up a ladder. You put a camera on there, that was extra weight. All right. And then he's going to pull it back and then you're going to pull it back. And that's a two minute station. So wherever it ends up throughout the course of the two minute station, then we stop and you move stop, to the next station. Stop and then station. you go to the next station. All right, where's number two? Each station is a two minute drill. The second station is actually the other end of the hose pull. But then we move on to things like squats, jump rope, lunges, jumping jacks. But then there's Joe. Joe is a 165 pound non-cooperative dummy that you have to drag for two minutes and he feels closer to 200 pounds. He's going to show you with one hand. Easy to. Or two hands. And it's up to them how they, how they, how they drag the dummy. I'll try to give it. Joe yeah, a drag. I'll give Joe a drag. Joe. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Be nice, be nice. All right. Now, although Joe is heavy and uncooperative, he simulates somebody that's injured. The firemen have the option to use one hand or two hands to be able to take this individual to a safe area. I like the one hand. I think I like the one hand better. This simulate rescue, rescuing somebody from the building. Yeah, because they're not going to be helping. Nope, usually not. I'm tired. He's heavy. This is what they call the farmer's walk, and it simulates carrying tools to the site. Firemen use tools ranging from 30 pounds and up, but when they practice, they're always carrying 60 pound weights. When you say tool, you're talking about the saws. Could be a saw, uh, ax and halligan, uh, okay. hose, no matter what. We, a lot, most of our tools are heavy, uh, so try and get most of the cadets simulated on uh, carrying a lot of weight. Same thing again, two minutes. So he's holding on to 60 pounds. He's got 120 pounds total for two minutes. So 60 in each hand. 60 in each hand. After the farmer's walk, there's sit-ups, push-ups, vertical leaps, and stairs. I'm talking a lot of stairs. There's five sets of, five flights of stairs, and he's gonna go up and down as many times as he can in the two minutes. Okay. The, the really impressive thing is you gotta understand, this is just part of the PT program. So 
after you've done all those other things, all of a sudden you're standing here with hoses on your shoulder trying to go up these stairs. That's impressive. Five flights of stairs wouldn't normally be a big deal. But when you add two stacks of hoses on your shoulders and you have to do it for two minutes up and down, it becomes a big deal. Okay, and then down. Oh, oh yeah, that's quite a setup. Yes, it is. And you actually just built this for the use and practice. Correct, and normally in the two minutes, you did it one time, they would get through two times. They get through two. And just think, when you do when you do climb those stairs, if you're in, depending on the story of the building, you have to be ready to go to work when you get to the sixth yeah. floor, fifth floor. So you're, well, you you're don't just have hoses, you have equipment too. You have equipment on also. And, and the coat, and the boots. That's CBA, helmet, and coat, smoke. gloves. It's an, it's an incredible job that these people do, these men and women, regarding firefighting. Looking for more safety and awareness? Log on to www.cnyhomepage.com.